Alright, so now Ubuntu is downloaded, and just so I can make things a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it and move it in, into a separate file that I have uh, somewhere else, and that's because I just don't want it in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to take this and drag it. You don't need to do this, I just like having things real nice and neat. But anyways, this is the file, so now let's go ahead and install it on our virtual machine. So open up VMware Player, and from here we're going to hit create a new virtual machine. And it says, okay, what you can do is you can install it from a disk. If you burn it to a disk and it's on a physical DVD, you can stick it inside your DVD drive. But we just have it as a regular old ISO since we downloaded it off the internet. So I'm going to click on this, and that is the file, and just hit next. So we're going to create a virtual machine, a virtual computer, using that operating system, Ubuntu. So next, and uh, what am I going to do? Personalize Linux, give it the name Bucky, and we'll talk about um, user accounts within Ubuntu later on. But for right now, uh, my username can just be Bucky and make any password. So. And make sure you remember this because whenever you have your operating system installed and it asks you to log in, it's going to ask for this password. So hit next. And all right, it doesn't really matter what the name of it is. I'm just going to say uh, Ubuntu, I'll say YouTube so I know which one. And hit next. The default location is where you always want to put it. All right. So what you're doing, like I said, is you're pretty much creating a virtual computer, a computer, a simulation of a computer within your computer. So it's going to take up a bunch of files and it's also going to need a certain amount of memory or RAM in order to run. So for all of the files, I'm just going to storm is one single file, keep everything nice and neat and hit next. And also it says, okay, so for your virtual computer, do these settings look all right? So it's going to have a 20 gigabyte hard drive and one megabyte of RAM. Well, you can change the size of this if you want. This looks fine, 20 gigabyte, but I'm also going to bump up the RAM. So if I go to customize in my memory, I want to boost this up to about four gigs. So I said one megabyte, but I actually meant uh, one gigabyte when I said that just a second ago. So I'm going to change it to four gigs close this and you just don't want to crank it up all the way because what this virtual machine is going to do is it's going to borrow resources from your host computer and in my instance from my main Windows computer so I know that I have 16 gigs of RAM installed on my main uh, Windows operating system on my main computer so this is going to borrow four whenever we're running this virtual machine and all that other stuff looks good so I'm just going to hit finish and it's going to start installing from that ISO, from that file we downloaded. And since I uninstalled this and then am reinstalling it for this tutorial, I'm just going to hit download and install. Let me shrink this so you guys can see. In this, if I allow this, this does take a few minutes, so don't freak out if it's taking a long time. Installing an operating system takes some time, nothing you can do about that. All right, so we now have Ubuntu installed on our virtual machine and just type the password that you made whenever you first installed this and hit enter and you should log in. So this is, if I can stretch this so you guys can see it a little bit better. So this is what the default desktop looks like for Ubuntu. And just so whenever I'm recording these videos, all of this is a little bit easier to see. I'm going to click on this button. You guys don't have to do this. Don't worry. And this is just the system settings or the preferences. And I am going to go to appearance. And these buttons right here, I just want to make a little bit smaller so you guys can see them all. So I'm going to bump this down to, um, I don't know, like 40. That's pretty good. And if you want to change the desktop or whatever, then you can do that. But this is the starting point. Now, Ubuntu comes with a couple programs that you don't really need or I'm not going to be teaching it in this video. I want to teach you guys about Linux and you know not how to use like um, the pretty much Microsoft Word for Ubuntu. So I'm also going to right click and just unlock or undock these if you're 
an Apple person. So unlock from launcher, unlock, unlock, and also this Amazon one. And there you go. So that's our starting point. If you guys want to, you know, play around with this a little bit, then feel free to explore. And just remember, anything you do in here, don't worry about breaking because if you, you know, just go in and accidentally delete all these files for Ubuntu, it's never going to affect your host operating system. There's nothing you can do inside your virtual machine that's going to mess up this stuff right there. So if you guys want to play around, feel free. And in the next video, we'll continue learning more about Linux.